What are we gonna do now? I gotta get my camping materials outside of the Sin Bourbon. Probably a couple of beers. And take them up to the Hopper location where we're setting up base camp for the urban survivalist in the woods this time. <laughs> I'm wearing this cool hat. Do you think a deaf person would understand what Probably. you're saying? I go on camping. <laughs> I sleep in a teepee that I made for me. <laughs> me teepee. <laughs> so after you unload your vehicle on the urban survival in the wilderness, you have to survey place to set up your tent with the binoculars. Big ones in the front. That place looks really good. I use my binoculars. See, using my binoculars. <laughs> that area is really flat. It doesn't have lots of rocks. Hey, come look at this, come look at this. Yep. Looks really good here. Here's my binoculars. You can see the ground. It's good. For the tent with the binoculars. See? It's important that there's no nails, no hobos. You gotta look for trash cans and underwear. You underwear! You don't want those involved in your camping area. I found a sandwich. Some hobo probably left it here. <laughs> Hobos make the best sandwiches because they live off of them. Therefore, they know what's good. I like a, a key thing in the sandwich is to make sure you got enough meat and spread. I intend to set up my tent after I drink some tea. Brisk in nature. I want some juice too. <laughs> The truth is, I don't know how to set up this tent. I don't read instructions very good. Because in the urban survival air arena, you don't need to read instructions. You just need to survive. Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> Talk to your audience. I have an audience. There's no one else here. Except for you and me. <laughs> Where are you going to set it up at? Here. Remember? <coughs> Sir? <laughs> and even I'm really hungry. Oh. Grandma, can I have a popsicle? Oh my god! Tent setting up is very vital. Make sure it's done accurately. Use your feet. That way your hands can be free to fight off bears. Another foreign and domestic enemies. here to look at this very cramped living quarters. It's 
almost sad to say that I have to live in the forest in this crude shelter. I mean, I can't even hardly stand up in here. You know? I can barely stretch my arms out. I mean, if you were to, if you were to, if you were to come in here and think, this guy crazy? This guy nuts? There's not enough room for two people in here. You know? Yeah, there is. There's enough room for four people. Uh, you're missing the point. When you're out of your urban lifestyle, it it's quite hard to become accustomed to such a little space. I I can't deal with this. This is this is too close. This is too this is too confining. I came to the outdoors to survive and to be with nature and its vast openness. This isn't it. But you can just be outside. I don't understand. You know, this this rough. This is survival. I'm about to make it do. Because the vastness that's inside my heart can't be contained inside this very small tent. Not even a small child wants to stay in here. See how that small child lives? It's too cramped. No, I just want to go out because I want to go. It's hike too on cramped in here. It's too cramped for even myself. No, it's not. Let alone for small children. Look at that. It's like only five feet in there. It's like five feet of circumference. I mean, pioneers wouldn't even deal with this small of a space. Pioneers wouldn't even tolerate this kind of inhumanity. Pioneers, you know, pioneers would have said, no way. I'm not crossing the desert to live in a small house made out of fabric and it's all small. But it's Pi still shelter. Pioneers wouldn't even have dealt with it. Pioneers would have been like, hey, I carry the stuff on my back across the plains through the desert. I'm not staying in this. I want a condo. I want indoor plumbing. It's rough. Number two thing that I said about making sure that you establish yourself you know, water and bathroom is very important. I mean, lucky enough for me that this, this small shelter doesn't limit me from establishing prime, prime places to urban survive out here. Because perimeter shelter has been known to drive people crazy. Small well, confined spaces place. make you go nuts. So you need to find my debunking area outside the shelter. I might need some aid to help me though, so I'm gonna get my trusted wilderness survival companion to assist me in this great journey. Fine. what it is for the water sources and potty sources. Now if you look, let the landscape around you, these bushes right here, they've grown tall like the trees. That means someone's had to water them. But I don't know no Bigfoot watering flowers. Bigfoot hates flowers. Bigfoot Come in here, step on them. Bigfoot don't care. You know, look, look what Bigfoot did. 
He's a jerk. He's not going to flower him. So, go look at what nature did. And, uh, <laughs> if you look at the way this hill is here, I think there's plenty of water that has come down this hill into this valley. Right here is this valley. There might be a creek underneath here. You don't know. Watering the flowers. It's nature's way. So I'm going to piss in it. <laughs> because nature knows that it, yeah, it's quite squishy over here. There's probably lots of piss. Looks like some raccoons have been over here pissing. Probably eating bugs from the underground uh, water source from this great mountain valley. And it's uh, one thing about survival. Gotta, I could probably prop myself against this like this. Squeeze one out. You know, that's what I'm gonna do later. Right here. This great wilderness area. When you're doing that kind of business, you gotta make sure you have a few things. Like this, clean yourself up, because you don't want to. You don't want any free riders out here in the wilderness. This one here's got a nice, nice scrapable edge here. Get right in there. Take care of that business for you. You know, if you want to do both sets of business in the same area, though. Like I'll probably prop myself up right here on the stand. Take care of it. Uh, uh. Clean myself up. Walk over here. This uh, perch is perfect for uh, stabilizing yourself on. Stabilize yourself here. Take care of a, you know, take care of a little issue you got going on here. <laughs> Nature loves it. Nature loves it because it helps uh, keep bugs away and waters flowers. And uh, so we got that down. Water underneath the ground here. Check. Pee and poo. Check. Living quarters. Check. Now let's take a listen to our areas. Very important. It's dead quiet. Here's birds chirping, which can be eaten. I hear no snakes. They slither. S sound. S sound. So that's pretty good. We could probably camp here for a couple days. No snakes. Spiders birds eat the spiders so if you got lots of birds around you have to worry about spiders because birds they hate them too their birds will eat the crap out of some spiders they can crap less um, things to mate with pretty good one because the number one thing about being in the wilderness and surviving is loneliness you can't be lonely out in the wilderness. So you got to find yourself a friend. The pine tree might appear to be your friend. It's got all these holes. Some sticky wetness here. You know, a little bit of bark. It's not your friend. It's not your friend. Take the skin right off of um, your friendly parts. You don't want none of that. Because we need them. The best thing to do, make a good friend for a minute, is look at the environment. You got your best friend right here. They'll talk to you. But for some adult entertainment, you might need to result to other means. Like this plant. Make a small hole in it. It's nice and soft and you know, if you're the male gender, you sure you can figure out what the hell to do with this bit. <laughs> One time use only. Use the leaves. Clean it right off, right? You're done. You're done. 
Zing bang. Thank you, ma'am. Don't got to pay them to go away. Female varieties out here in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> this little pine cone. <laughs> it's nice and soft. He's pretty soft and like most men, about this big and, you know, pretty sure you can figure out what to do with it. <laughs> and when you're done, just a little soft guys here clean up and you're done. You know, you don't have to worry about cuddling or him buying you flowers or birth controls. Um, this is just a pine cone. But, you know, the ladies got to be careful because... Sometimes you might get a little bit ambitious and uh, want to do some explorative embarking of your own. And you know, I just want to say that you know, pine cone's your friend, but the pine stick is is not your friend. It's not your friend at all. Like for instance, I mean, honestly, you really want to. You want know, to be friends with this? Oh, with your business? Think about it. Look. Look what's doing to my beer can here. It's hurting it. You know? Look at that. How you gonna... That's not friendly. That's not nice. That's not gonna take care of your needs. <laughs> Just be smart about it. If it's not soft on your face, it's not soft in your private place. Okay? Number one rule, try it on the face for your private place. That's urban survival right there.